Oh, beautifully picked up by uh, Flintoff. A rather unusual shot for him. He probably would have opted to go straighter, but um, just look at the way, just on that knee, bent knee, and almost um, took up by Billy Bowden, who's been very watchful, kept his eyes on it. And now that's pulled away. Starts off with a short delivery, and it gets the treatment. Lintoff was onto it in a flash. A man in form. This was not a short delivery. It was just slightly short of a length, and he was at it at a flash. There, a couple of bounces into the fence, and what a shot that was by Flintoff. It's all the tall bowlers. Dylan, Kasovic, Gillespie, and Tini. Inside out, that is hit powerfully. That'll go all the way. First boundary. And that gives the crowd something to applaud. And the shouts of catch it. There is a man in there at short extra. But uh, I think this was quite wide of him. A great shot. Inside out, opening the face of the bat, knowing there's a fielder there. There's one fielder there at cover and there's one fielder backing up it. And went right into the gap. And that's the power flint of having his batting. Over the top, that's beautifully played. That's going to be a couple of bounces, one bounce and over the fence. Over the rope, at least. And that's 50 for Andrew Flintoff. He's on to 51. Second time he's made a one international 50 against the Sri Lankans. He's made this one from uh, 69 balls. Yes, that really was a shot uh, of a man in form. Andrew Flintoff made in 69 balls. He's certainly looking extremely good, Jeff in innings. Ah, oh, sumptuous. That's a long way back down towards the commentary boxes. That was pretty much six from the moment it left the bat. This is where the danger is. As soon as you stray on your length, there's Flintoff. He's such a strong strike on the ball. Just look at the muscle he puts into this. The timing, absolutely perfect, right over long on for six. It really cleared the, the ropes by many a yard. He does specialise in hitting sixes, doesn't he? And he hits them so well, so long. In his one-day international career, he's hit 70 now. It's more sixes than matches. Well, he's hit that superbly. This is the genius of uh, Andrew Flintoff at a time when there are men posted all around this ground trying to prevent the boundaries. He gets himself into the right sort of position and just times the ball so well. That was not an easy delivery to get uh, quite so wide. But he found the gap, hit it so well that it was always four. Yes, there was uh, not much fancy in that. Just got himself into position and again muscled it through that offside with two men standing on the line virtually not able to prevent the bound ball to snuggle into the hands. Lintoff, though, is still going strong. Look at that for power and timing. Bass trying to get the ball up into the block hole. Nearly made it. But that was a great shot. Sliced away a little bit. Has it got the legs on it? Of course it has. I said it's a big ground, and it is here at the Rose Bowl. Maybe it's not quite big enough for Andrew Flintoff. There's nothing that could stop this man. He's, in fact, uh, picking the longer boundaries, as it would say, uh, look, uh, catch me if you can. And uh, that's gone soaring over the man at uh, long off. Just look at the power on that shot. Plenty of muscle behind it. And uh, there's no stopping it. Andy Flintoff. Just what he wanted, Andrew Flintoff, and he's pumped it many a mile back into that crowd. Well, the pressure is telling here on Nguyen Zoyser. Flintoff just sets himself and goes. He's on to 91 now. Well, he doesn't miss it any, Andrew Flintoff, and that was full. And he got plenty of bat on that, clearing the ropes once again. We really cannot um, get away with deliveries like that to him at, in this frame of mind, in this form. Which way is he going to go next time? Same sort of place, it's a good delivery, but it's a great shot. Look at that, it's four more for Andrew Flintoff. The bluff and double bluff didn't quite work for Timinda Vaz. Flintoff moves on to 98. 
Yes, it would seem that that template of having the last laugh, just uh, getting sufficient back to uh, use the pace of that delivery. Beautifully played. Five balls left. Marvin Adepatu can't believe what he's watching out there. Now the two is on. He's coming back. His giants are down at third man. He can do nothing to prevent Andrew Flintoff going through to a magnificent hundred. Now that is Andrew Flintoff's third One Day International hundred. It's come at a perfect time for England. Could be his best. Add to that another 99 he made this summer as well. He has been in the form of his life, already named one day international cricketer of the year by the ICC has fully justified that billing here at the Rose Bowl. It's over the top of the man who's in there on the edge of the circle. Michael Vaughan out there applauding every run on the balcony. Flintoff moves on, he's unstoppable. What a hundred this has been, just uh, had the Sri Lankans on their knees, as you would say, the Sri Lankans uh, really didn't bargain for this sort of hammering they've got off uh, Andrew Flintoff. He's uh, hit the ball onto all parts of the ground. And uh, nine boundaries, three sixes. But uh, he bided his time, and this really has been an absolute uh, devastating middle end leg. If he was in place, it would have probably his pads. Well, no doubt about that. It's a little bit of revenge for Tim Indavas. It's come too late, I fear, for Sri Lanka. They might be cheering that wicket, but they've had to watch an innings which these gentlemen, the England team, all the England fans here today, will remember for a long, long time. Yes, it's really is an evening. We've been privileged to watch, as you would see. That's coming to an end, but uh, that really had to come at some stage. But far too late for the Sri Lankans. Andrew Flintoff, as you would see, this, the crowd uh, certainly standing ovation for him. And what a great innings this has been. So Andrew Flintoff goes, bowled by Chamin the Waz, 104, and England 250 for six.